Jay Paul Getty Museum and Google Arts and Culture present Art at Home with Dr. Anne T. Woollett presenting The Abduction of Europa by Rembrandt with The Art Projector. Hello, this is Anne Woollett, curator of paintings at the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles. I'm here in my living room and I'm looking at one of the most favorite paintings in the collection, Rembrandt's Abduction of Europa from 1632. I see it here above my sofa. In fact, I'm replacing in my view a painting by my grandfather, uh, which I don't think he'll mind. He loved Rembrandt. It's really fun and interesting to see the painting here on the wall. Rembrandt created a striking, dramatic composition, which really would have enthralled and excited his contemporaries. He's taken a topic that was painted by many of his predecessors in the Renaissance. It's a scene from Ovid's Metamorphosis, Ovid the Roman poet. And here we see the adoption of Europa by the god Jupiter, who's taken the form of a very handsome white bull. He's seduced uh, the princess and her companions even with his uh, pleasant manner and a pleasing appearance, only to uh, in induce her to jump on his back so that he can spirit her away. And together they found a new continent. It's a story about new beginnings um, and leaving old ways behind. Looking closely at the painting, actually, we can see just how much um, thought Rembrandt's given to telling the story. We see the princess here in this magnificent gown, and she's seated on the back of the bull. She's clearly terrified. She's holding onto his neck, gripping the skin with her fingers of, the of her left hand, holding on to his horn with her right hand, and looking back at her companions on the shore. Uh, Rembrandt is a masterful painter of, of texture and of color, we see reflections in the water um, beneath the princess and the bull. And the bull, J Jupiter, is waving his tail. And I have to say, I think he has a somewhat um, smug, satisfied expression on his face. On the shore, we see the two companions expressing their surprise and horror at the abduction and behind the large horse-drawn um, carriage that the princess arrived in. Rembrandt's given this a dramatic setting in the form of a landscape. In fact, one of his earliest landscapes with these towering trees uh, looming over the figures, providing a dramatic backdrop and opening up on the left to a view of the city of Tyre, which looks um, a little bit decrepit. Um, it's the old ways that are being left behind. Rembrandt's painting a topic that was a great uh, favorite with some of his predecessors in the Renaissance who often painted it on a huge scale. What's fascinating about this painting and makes it fun to see here is that he painted this work for his patrons in Amsterdam who lived in indeed magnificent but still domestic scaled houses uh, and interiors along the canals. So this is a painting that is meant to be seen in a real sitting room. In fact, it would have probably been shown in the most important reception room, perhaps, of a Dutch house. We know uh, the man who was likely the first owner, who was a merchant, uh, Jacques Spex, who traded pepper and spices with um, what was then Japan and the Korean Peninsula, a very early uh, mercantile um, sailor. So uh, it has an appropriate sort of maritime theme for him. And in uh, his house or any other um, kind of interior like this, a Rembrandt painting of this nature would have been uh, something that induced um, discussion amongst guests and sort of admiration um, of the patron and his, and his taste. Certainly it's a painting that rewards uh, close viewing and continuous viewing. Uh, it makes it a very kind of special addition to any setting. And I have to say, I really enjoy seeing it here.